Hi, my name is Sherry. Welcome to my Stampin' Up! Studio. I have, it's one card, but it's a lot of stuff to show you today. So let's get going. First, I wanted to show you some happy mail that I got from my friend Teresa. It always makes me happy to get some fun cards in the mail. And on both of these, she used some celebration items. So on this one, it's something I haven't even used yet. It is the little corner stamp. I'm not sure what it's called because I haven't used it yet, but it's so super cute. And then she mixed some of the annual catalog items in with it. So I haven't taken my Christmas cards down on the display behind me just because I've been so super busy, but it's on my list of things to do. Oh, UPS, you know, UPS is here all the time. Um, so I'm going to be hanging these up there. I, it, it makes me smile to hang things that people send me on that back there. And thank you for those of you that sent me Christmas cards. I got several of them and, um, they'll be going up there even though it's no longer Christmas. They'll be up there for January. And then this one she sent, um, from the mini catalog, the, quite curvy dies, and then she added the celebration paper to that. So remember right now, I have changed my host code starting today, so the seventh. So if you go to my website, you'll see what the new thank you gifts are. So if you already purchased earlier this month and you used the other one, then you'll get a new thank you gift if you purchase today. But for every 50 or $100 that you spend, you do get a free item or as many as you want. So some of you got a whole bunch of free items the last couple of days. So you can get some more. And I'm going to use the paper, to, one of the papers. And then if you still don't have your copy of the mini catalog and I was to send you one, um, please email me because I've been checking the tracking on a couple of them. People are still, even the ones I sent in early December, people are just now getting some of them. Um, I think most of you got them, but I'm happy to send you another one if you let me know that you don't have it and I check the tracking. Indianapolis's post office didn't earn a great reputation over the last month in getting things out. Um, so today I'm going to use um, several new things. One is the Kangaroo and Company stamp set. So this is what our card is based off of. And this stamp set is, or the bundle, is one of my classes in January. So I will post the class link down below this video and then you can go to my website and read the details for it. It's gonna be a really fun class. Um, the stamp set itself, you can use the Kangaroo or you can take it out and use the flowers, the hearts, the presents, the little envelope, the party hat, it's got some fun words. The dies are super cute, and you know, we're half Aussie in our family, so we do like, um, well, you know, there's three of us. Um, my husband's from Australia, I'm from here. My daughter was born in Australia, so she has dual citizenship. So we're kind of a thirds, <laughs> a thirds family. And then I'm going to use um, the celebration paper. So this is one of the papers that you can um, get free. And it's, re it's a fun paper, it's more muted colors than a couple of the other picks that we have. I like the backs. I really like this one. Um, so, and this one's super fun. It would be really fun if you do um, home decor and you have one of the 12 by 12 frames. So with that one. So there's some really pretty fun patterns in these. So that's one of the free picks. And the nice thing with the papers during celebration, if you find that you've gotten all of the picks, just get another pack of paper because it's free. And I'm also going to use um, the Mercury Acetate. And I meant to look, I think it's part of the Hydrangea Suite, um, which you might not see the kangaroos and think, oh, I'm gonna put the Mercury Acetate with it. And this was a really big seller. Um, I think it was two holiday catalogs ago. It may have been last year, you know, time kind of melds together but it was silver. Um, so if you flip it over on the other side, you can, and you're out of the silver and you wanted more, the other side silver, so you can still use that side. Then here is the first card that I made with this set. So I was gonna do it. It uses the ombre paper, which is also celebration, but the coloring was a little bit more, and I'm like, it's pretty, it's a pretty basic card, and I kind of like to do a little bit more on my videos. So um, I just upped it. So. This one, I will put a picture on my blog post that goes with this video so you can see it. But I used the heart from one of the, the, mm, I, it's not called Love Always. It's one of the Valentine Suites. This is from the Floral Art Suite. And then I, this, so is the embossing folder. And then it's just basic coloring. So I decided I was gonna do something else. So here's the something else. So I based my colors then off of 
the paper. So these are cut five and a half by two. So this will be our front layering. And then the, let's stamp. I'm just gonna use Memento because I am gonna color it in with blends. And these little flowers that are in this match the paper pretty well. So this is gonna be the inside of my card because it's a Knight of Navy. And you know, sometimes it's hard to write on that. Although I know some of you are like me and you're like, I don't really wanna say anything on the inside of my card. So if I make it really dark, <laughs> then I can just sign my name. Let's stamp our kangaroo. I'm gonna do it this way. Make sure I get her all. She's just sweet. There's a lot of little happy stamps. We need some happy in our lives right now. So she just makes you happy when you stamp her. So I just have a little scrap piece of white. We do have the new basic white in. So the Whisper White um, is no longer with us because the mill that created it for us always had to close permanently due to COVID. So really sad that people lost their jobs. Sad that we lost our fabulous Whisper White cardstock, but now we have basic white. So stamp our baby kangaroo. That's gonna come out of her pocket. Whoops. And then a tiny little baby heart. Let me just put that up there. And then to color them, I just went with blends again that were kind of in the paper and then colors of um, the kangaroo. I don't have any scrap paper laying here, so I'm just gonna use my card itself. So let's do the inside first because it's the inside of the card, so you don't wanna take long. So I have dark sea foam. Again, here, I'll show you the paper. I was just trying to match the colors of the paper. So literally just take your brush tip because nobody's gonna stare at the inside of your card, right? They're just gonna open it, see what you had to say, and then be done with it. And then I have um, the dark um, rose because this is dark. And these little roses here, I'm just gonna swirl some on. Again, I'm just kinda, kinda going for a quick burst of color. And I go, I'll go ahead and do these two. So I need the heart over here, but wrong tip. I'm gonna just do a swish of the dark right there. And then I'll finish the heart with the light. And then I'm gonna put some color in their ears. And on their little noses. And I know that looks pink, pink, but I'm gonna blend it with the grays. So that'll kind of mute that down. And then for my leaves, I have the navy. So I'm gonna do the insides dark. And then again, just take my um, brush tip. Oh, I missed a rose. I thought I was paying close attention. and just kind of swish that around. I want it to stay light and airy, so I'm intentionally leaving some of the, the white in there. So that's all we need for the inside. It looks super cute. You don't have to be perfect or anything on that. So now let's go over and finish our the, the stars of the show. So I have dark granite, smoky slate. I have light granite too. Crumb cake. Um, I, have two, I don't know why I have two of those sitting there. Because my table's a hot mess, that's why. So I have dark and light granite, um, dark smoky slate, and light crumb cake. So I want, I don't want my kangaroos to be exactly the same color. Um, and I really wanted them to be a little red because <laughs> I wanted them to be like a big red kangaroo. But it didn't match my paper. So I went with art. So I'm going to do her mostly granite and do him mostly crumb cake, but tie it together because it's a mommy and a baby. So let's start with the dark crumb cake. I mean, dark granite. I'm looking at the one and I'm just going to kind of outline her with the bullet tip. And they do have dyes, so um, I don't want it to bleed a lot, but bleeding isn't you know, bleeding is more of an issue with the blends 
if you are leave, like if she was stamped on the paper and you were leaving it. So lay down some dark. I'm not gonna put any of the dark granite on the baby. So just get this, and I'm not gonna put any dark like in her little pockety, her chest area. So get that on there. And then I'm gonna take the light gray granite and then we'll blend. And this time I'm gonna go over her nose and kind of tone down that pink. And normally I probably would have done it in crumb cake or something. Some of you, um, I'm a squeaker and I have always been a squeaker when I color with my bullet tips because I go in circles. It's not, these are brand new, my blends. It's not because my um, blends are dried up because these are brand new. But people that I, that come to my house, they're like, mine aren't squeaking. It's a special technique. <laughs> But it's because to blend, see how these, these lines are here? I'll try to zoom in when I edit. But to get those lines to go away, if you do your second coat, and I know it can be annoying on the video because it's loud, but if you do the first one in a line and the second one in a circle, then it really takes that line away and it blends it, which is the intent. And if you're just sitting at home all by yourself, well, me and my cats, She's on the floor underneath me today. She has been on the table and I have forced her off a couple of times just because this card, I know it likes, lots of you like to see her, but this card has lots of, see when I go straight, it doesn't squeak, but there's not too much to blend down here. But I like for my lines to disappear and this just gets them out. Now the bleeding problem with blends is because the more ink that you put down and this is a big image so it has lots of places to go like if I could keep coloring and coloring and it's just going to keep bleeding into the middle but when you're coloring something tiny like this and you keep putting more and more ink it has to go somewhere because you're putting tons of ink and so that's when it bleeds so if you're doing something that's pretty thin then don't go right up to the line give it some room to bleed into. Now I am going to take my light and do the outline over here with the light, just for our babies, a little bit lighter. So they're the same color, coordinating, but not quite. And I'm going to take the crumb cake and I'm going to use my brush tip first on her and just kind of give her some wisp of crumb cake right there. And then to pull the crumb cake over here, and I'll just blend the crumb cake and the granite because you don't have to blend the same two colors. You can blend whatever colors you want to try blending. And just get her a little bit dark with the bullet tip. And then I used Smoky Slate on the other one, but I think it looks good without it. So now let's cut these out. So to cut it out, I'm going to use our new mini machine because these, when you look in the catalog, it will tell you which, which one of our dies and which one of our folders fit um, in the mini machine. And I do have a special. So if you purchase the mini machine from me this month, um, it's a separate special from the host code. Still use the host code, um, but you don't get both gifts. If you do, if you go over the 100 um, for my $100 thank you gift, but this is, I think it's $60. So if you buy it in January, I'm going to send you an extra plate. It comes with all the plates that you need to get started, but I'm gonna send you a set of extra plates because I know some of you, oh, I know it's for some people buying extra plates is like a stab in the heart. I'm not quite sure why, um, because I like my plates to be pretty, partly because I film um, and I don't want you guys to have to look at nasty plates. Um, but I know some of you are like, oh, I have to buy new plates and it just like kills you. Um, <laughs> So that will be my thank you gift if you purchased the mini machine from me in January. So let's go ahead and put this in here. So now our inside's done. I'm going to show you a couple of tips and tricks with your little mini. So sometimes when I've been using it, there's parts of my table and you can see because I stamp on my table and I know it bothers you. Um, and my husband then repaints it probably every three or four months. But because right here, sometimes it's a little slippy. So I have found, because it does have feet, it doesn't weigh hardly anything. And because my table has embossing powder and cat hair and 
just general dust. If it if it's moving and it's right here where I wash all the time, then it tends to move. If I move over to the other side, it doesn't slip at all because um, it's got the grippy feet, but it just doesn't. The big machine weighs so much more. This doesn't weigh anything, so you can see it. Um, it slide. So I have found it. If I just lay mine on my silicon pad, then it doesn't move at all. So if you're finding that your surface itself isn't grabbing the sticky feet, if you, I just found that, and the silicon mat is in the catalog, um, then you can see it's not moving at all. So it comes with all the plates that you need to get started. Just, they're just baby ones of, um, the big one. And all of them have the instructions like for the sandwiches. So super easy learning curve. They're just so tiny. You're like, oh, it needs more than that. And then, like I said, in the catalog, it's marked. I didn't put this on my first one because I thought, um, I didn't think about it, but this matches this paper. So I'm going to run this one through just more or less to show you how to use the embossing folders. So you put this here, line this up in here. And then this is one of the thin the thin folders. So this is the plate for the thin folders, which the instructions on here will tell you. And then you just roll it through. Just the same as the big one. This is great if you travel, um, if you're just kind of getting started with embossing stuff. Now the big none of the big things will fit, um, so you'll have to look. But it works just the same as the other one. So then to emboss, there are a couple of tips and tricks. The, the area is not big. Um, and you can see I've already cut on both sides because you'll want to flip. So you can tell this one has not been cut on. So every time I'm going to try to cut on the other side, I can tell that this is the one I last used. So this time I'm gonna flip it this way because they will, plates always warp, but because these are so much smaller, um, and you can tell I haven't cut anything here. You always want to put your stuff someplace different if you can. So let's just put these in here. We have, I may have stamped my kangaroos too close together. Maybe not. So put that there. A little heart here. I also find that I don't stand up when I use this. I always stand up with my other machine, so I may stand up when I roll this through. It's just super handy to have on the table because it doesn't take up space. So I've been having it sit here, and then we need this little piece here to finish off our kangaroo. Okay, so here's the biggest tip with this. I find it's much easier if your plates don't go straight through. So just kind of catty corner them just a little bit. Now again, I've cut on this side, so this time I'm going to flip it. You're like, those are fairly straight, and then I'm gonna lay this one just a little bit catty corner, not a ton. I just think it grips better if they're just a tad off. And then once it goes through, it's just like the other ones. I'm trying to not let my little kangaroo guy move before I get it off and then just roll it through. Literally just like the big machine. And you can see my silicon pad is keeping it from moving at all. So there we have those. Now I just need to put this card together. And look, it just folds up and I can keep it right here. And so sometimes I'm like, mm, maybe I'll try this little, cause it can sit here. If you um, like, go camping and you take your supplies or if you take them to the cabin or you just, you know, take them to a crop, it's a much better size to take with you than the big one. But you have, you would have to think what you're taking with you because you can't take all of your big folders and things. So let's take first our papers. So we have these. I wish I had um, run that through the folder on my first one. Now I'm going to use um, Seal Plus because I want this to stick over the top of my ribbon in a minute. I think you could use dimensionals as well. So I know my kangaroo is going to end up right here. So that's mostly where I'm going to put the adhesive for my acetate. And these are both cut five and a half. 
So they just need to go right over to the edge. And look how fun this acetate is. So I know it, was, it looks kind of fancy schmancy, like a wedding card, but it also looks fun with our little fun kangaroo. And then I have ribbon from the annual catalog. This is from the flowers for every season. Oh, I hope I have enough. It's gone, but I, I mean, I have more over there, but it's a little trio pack of ribbon. It's a great time to stock up on refills and ribbons and plates um, for both the biggie and the small. Oh yeah, there's plenty. So this ribbon will show on the inside of the card. It's a great linen ribbon. It lays nice and flat. It's just plain white ribbon. Because we do want the kangaroo to be the star of the show. So tie a knot first. And then just tie a little bow. My other um, card has a large bow that I thought was a little bit too large. This one is going to just make it because that's how much ribbon I have. I like the white ribbon with the blue, the navy um, card back because it kind of brightens it up. And then let's just trim these so they have a little bit of a point to them. There we go. Okay, now so to put her together, she, when you cut her, the die has a little slit right here. See that? So I found it's easier if you just take your snips and just kind of make sure that it's raised up. You don't want to slice it off because it needs to stay there. But this way it's nice and raised up. So this is where I needed my seal plus because I want this to stay over the top of my ribbon. But you also need to have, um, you don't want your baby to, you want this, this little piece is going to slide down in here. So you can't put any adhesive anywhere that's going to slide. So we're going to put all of our adhesive on the tail and then on her neck. So the seal plus is nice and sticky. So it will hold it there. So stick her here, just like that. Then here's a little tip for you where this cut him I'm just going to take my crumb cake oops, and my brush tip and just kind of fill that in so it doesn't look like it's not our baby kangaroo. So just fill the rest of that in. And then I'm going to take my heart because I want him to hold it. But sometimes, you know, when you cut something, I'm just going to trim just a tad off. You don't have to do this. It's just personal preference for me. I don't like to have so much white that's going to, although this time, when I did it last time, you know, every time you run something through your dye machine, this time this has white. Last time it was on the other side. So when I put this here, it was covering up his little hands. This one's not so bad, except I need to finish cutting that because I left it with a point. There we go. So we have our little tab. I'm going to take some of the little words that come in this set because this makes a little pull up. And this one just says, just for you. So it could be for any occasion, really. You can just stamp these right down on there. And it's easier, much easier, I think, to do this after um, you've run it through the dye machine than it is before. And then again, the Seal Plus will hold this best. It's just, it's so sticky. So stick him on here and I took a glue dot, which is as almost the same size as the heart. So you want to kind of fold it in half and I stuck it to his little hands because you don't want it hanging off. You just stick it right there. So this class is going to be super fun. Um, all, it's an online class as is, as are all of my classes this year. Um, and then you just slide it in here. And so see if you don't finish this off, 
you might have some white. But the first time you stick it down, if you force it down in there, there you go, then every time it will keep going. So you can kind of raise that up, get the same, and then stick it back down in there. Isn't that not the sweetest? So super cute and so easy. And I know it, it took me a minute because I showed you a lot of new things on this card. So here's my one with my too big of a bow and an extra gray somehow added in there. And I mean, the embossing, I don't know if you guys can see it. It does add to the card um, because it's the exact same pattern, but it's not like you have to have it. And here's our inside. I think... I, this set doesn't have just a classic happy birthday, but I think I would add it because I think it's a fun little happy birthday card. And this will make sweet Valentines if you do make Valentines. And if you do, you'd probably wanna get it now so you can get started on them. But that's what I have for you today. So run to my website. You can see all of my specials, my new host code. Thank you gifts for this month. Remember if you get the, um, the machine in January, it's separate from the host code, um, unless you get to the $100 one, but you'll get free plates. So that's what I have for you today. So check back and I'm, I'm going to take a little break. So I don't know that I'll have a video post tomorrow. Um, there will be at least one over the weekend, but I'm going to start finishing up my try it classes. And since I was sick in December, the two just, December classes that I haven't mailed out yet. So I'm going to get kick myself into class prep mode. So everybody have a great day. Bye.